Google Slides allow you to embed audios in the slides. And this is a very good feature, especially if you are teaching communication or some languages. It can have many other use cases, although I am unaware of it. You can tell me in the comment section of this video. But first, let me demonstrate how you can use audios with the Google Slides. So why wait? Let's start. In order to add audio to Google Slides, you have to open a slide. So I am on a slide and this I have created to teach English to kids. So when we want to insert audio into any slide of Google Slide, all we need to do is click on this insert menu. Click here and click on this audio. Make sure you are on the slide where you want to add the audio. Click on this audio. And here you will see these three options, my drive, shared with me and recent. These three options are available. This means here you will not get the option to upload it from your computer because we cannot upload file from computer on this screen. This is why we need to put our MP3 or audio files into our Google Drive. So I have already created a folder and in this drive I am going to upload my audios. So I have already recorded two audios with the help of Audacity. I have already told you in one of my video how to use Audacity. Then I am going to put these two files in this drive. It will take some time. So these two files are now uploaded. Make sure you give a meaningful name otherwise you will not be able to search it. So let's go back here and close it. Again, click on insert, click on audio. See, in my drive, there are two audio. But if you have uploaded it a long back, then also because I have given the meaningful names to them, it will be very easy for me to find these files. See, these are coming like this. And if I search, only these two files will be available. So I'm selecting this. So Chotu is the name of this chapter and one is for first slide. Let's click on select after selecting the audio. And when you click select, you will see this creating audio option here, creating op audio label here. When your audio is ready, you will see this icon. You can place this icon anywhere you want. Just below that icon, you will see this audio player. From here, you can Listen to the audio if audio is correct or not. So let me play the audio. Today we are going to listen to the story of a baby mouse. This story is from the NCERT book. I believe you will enjoy this story. So this is how you insert audio in a Google slide. It's that easy. Let's now see how it looks when we present the slide. So click on this present. So this is how it looks. You can see this icon here. If I want to play the audio, then I have to go here. As soon as I hover my mouse on this audio, you can see this audio player available here. And now I can play the audio by clicking on this play button. Today we are going to listen to the story of a baby mouse. This story is from... See? Isn't it easy? You also have some format options available for the audio. So for that you have to click on this audio icon. When you click on this audio icon, you will see these format options available here. By any chance, if you close this, then there's nothing to worry about. You can open these options again by selecting this audio and clicking on this format option. So let's look at these format options one by one. When you are presenting your slide, how do you want to play your audio? This you can decide from this audio playback option. You want to start play with the click or automatically. When this is automatically, it will not wait for a click. As soon as the slide appears on the screen, the audio will start playing. This automatically option is good when you want to have a background music while you are playing a slide. Then this is the option for volume. You can also decide the volume from here. So from here also you can select the volume, but this is also an option. 
so you can decide what will be the volume of the audio when you are presenting this slide now this option allow you to hide icon so if i click here it will hide the icon when i am presenting so this icon will not be here so let us say if i hide the icon and i also say that start on click then you can see when i click on on click the hide icon is disappeared because there it doesn't make any sense that icon is also not visible and you are saying that you want to play only when you click on this icon correct this is why this hide icon works only with automatically so when i select these two options now if i play or present this slide see now the icon is not visible the rt book i believe you will and audio is playing automatically if you select this loop audio option what will happen after your audio is completely played it will start from the 0th second again and this option stop on slide change basically when you go to another slide this particular audio which is on this slide will stop if you don't stop it what will happen even when you reach to the second slide this audio will keep playing okay and you don't want it unless you want to keep a background music for the slide so if you have a background music you can put that and you can keep that playing in the background then there is this option size and rotation this is width and height of this image you can select by this also see width and height this change you can lock the aspect ratio these are basically image related options it has nothing to do with audio then this position also you can change this is again image related option recolor you can recolor this image so you can change it to some different color see these are the options available you can select any of this like this then there are some adjustment options it's transparency if you want to increase transparency you can increase it see it is now transparent right you can also drop shadow and this is reflection you can add reflection see you can have multiple audios in one slide so right now this is one audio let me add another audio also so i'll go to insert i'll click on audio and i'll select this chotu 2 .mp3 also let's click on select and when audio is ready this icon will also appear here so now both of these audios will play only when i'll click on see this is on click and this is also on click i need to remove this loop audio and i need to select this stop on slide change otherwise this audio will keep playing even when slide is changed let's now present now as you can see there are two audios and i can play both of them so both will be played only when i click on them so let's click on this Today we are going to listen to the story so it of our wave dance. And I click on this. This is story. Then is it also starts playing. As you can see, you will enjoy this story. As you saw, both of the audios were playing simultaneously. Correct. So this option is not there. This is why this pause option is given. So they can click on play okay. and later yeah. they can pause it. So users have to use it. accordingly this is how you can add multiple audios also there may be many use cases when you need multiple audios on one slide for example if i want one audio just to speak what is already there on this slide for example if i am on this slide then i can have one audio just to read it out in english then another audio to read it in hindi another audio to read it in bengali if i am teaching bengali okay to somebody or if i am teaching hindi to somebody so this can be a very good way to learn language similarly you can also find uh, its use in your subject for example if you are teaching about two stroke engine and four stroke engine 
In that case, you can have two images. One is two-stroke engine, another one is four-stroke engine. And in that case, you can have two audios related to both of the engines. And a student can compare on same slide with the image as well as with the audio. For more clarity, you can also add some point on the image. So there can be many use cases. I will be happy if you come out with a use case and make a slideshow with the audio that actually satisfy user's requirement. And in that case, please, after you publish the video on YouTube, please share it with me. I would be happy to watch the video. So whenever you have such a requirement, when you need multiple audios in one slide and every audio is representing something else. In that case, what you can do, you can change the icon of this image also. So this audio icon can be changed so that user understand what is related to what, which audio is related to which element. So for example, if let us say this is for listening and this is for con contextualizing. In that case, I can change their icons. So let's change its icon. If I want to change its icon, then I'll click on it and then I'll right click on it. Right click on this image. Here I'll see this option replace image and I have a lot of options to upload image. I can upload from drive, photos, URL, camera, search the web and upload from computer also. I'll search the web. See, I am searching the web, but you don't do it because you are going to make your slide public and you don't want to use any copyrighted image. Right? Let's now search for the image and I want to put an image of listen. See, there are lots of images. So rather than I will say listen icon. See, I got very good icons. So I'll select this one. I'll select the image and click on replace. See this image is replaced. Similarly, I can replace this image also. I will search for the web. I will say Hindi icon. So if it is a translation, then I would like to put a Hindi icon here. See, these are the icons. So I will select this. Or I can also search Hindi language icon, but it's okay. So you got the idea. So I will select an image and click on replace. Now when we will present the slide, user can click on this to listen to this audio and this to listen to this audio. When your slide is ready, you can share it with limited number of people or you can publish it to the web or you can embed it on one of your sites. So these were the options to use audios with Google Slides. Now I believe you will be able to use audios with Google Slides easily. The very good feature of using audios in Google Slides is that you do not need to worry about disk space or network bandwidth because it is hosted on cloud. So you can share it with your students directly. You do not need to transfer it by attaching into your Gmail or something like that. Also share this video with your fellow teachers because they might be looking for a similar options. I'll see you in my next video. Namaste.